You know when you go to Sally's to buy a waxing kit so you can wax your armpits? You know, like a human? And then you stumble across the makeup section and buy a bunch of shit you don't need, you know, like an addict. And then you tell yourself that it's okay to buy this and start making up excuses to justify said purchases, you know, like a psychopath. And then you come home and you tell yourself you need all this stuff, you know, like a liar. That's what we're doing today. Sally's Beauty. I haven't heard much about Sally's Beauty, but what I have heard from my baby girl Tati, I talk about her like I know her and like she knows me. <laughs> she doesn't. But I've heard really good things. I've never tested it out for myself though. So I bought a couple of stuff, not everything they didn't have the foundation in my shade i didn't find a concealer in my shade either everything else we're just gonna supplement i'm gonna go ahead and prime i'm gonna mix these two i've been liking this little mixture it helps in aiding my skin because at the end of the day i do have dry spots but also at the very end of the day i have oily skin also you guys are probably wondering gloria if you waxed your armpits why aren't you wearing a tank top let those puppy swaying sister show them off to the world i cannot because i had my boyfriend wax me and he left me like have you ever seen a comb over it's like that only it's my armpit hair setting spray priming spray collab spray so collab is the name of the brand i've heard great things about it haven't tested it out for myself though so i'm not gonna sit here and tell you it's the titties because i do not know if it is that yet so this is the collab closing time three in one mattifying makeup setting mist this says mattify set and refresh this has apple and rose hip extract the packaging looks cool everything looks really promising i'm hoping all of this works i really do that is a good mist. It's like Little Besitos. Personally, I'm a fan of Little Besitos foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation and then my conceal hairs and then powder, all that stuff. I'm gonna do all that off camera and then we will knead up and we will review some more of this. I just wanted to show you that I'm using this spray. Done. Lips, my lips look weird and I just don't wanna, I wanna get it done. I didn't see a lot of lip options. I did see some, but not a lot. But I saw these little things. These are the, these are tinted lip balms and they're the collab about the pout things. I might not be the biggest fan of these. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real age with you guys, but I'm gonna try them out just cause. They were there, might as well. That's such an insult. Have you guys ever thought about that? Like that is such a flippin' insult to anything ever. Like if somebody were to ask my boyfriend, why did you start dating your girlfriend? And if his answer was, she was there, might as well. What the f That's the most condescending thing. Why'd you start dating your boyfriend? He was there, might as well. Why'd you pick this restaurant? It was there, might as well. Why'd you decide to marry her? She was there, might as well. Why'd you decide to keep your kid? She was there, might as well. That's like somebody kind of inviting you to something after they didn't invite you and that other person's like, yeah, you can come if you want. Fam, if you can come if you want is your way of inviting me. You can keep your mother invitation. You know, like an Next, I'm gonna pop this one in the center. Not the greatest, but it was there, might as well. I have a bronzer slash uh, sculpting powder. By the way, these items were on sale and this was $7.99 and this was reduced. So $8 for a bronzer, even for a more of a drugstore brand, that's expensive. So I'm gonna tell you guys right now, Collab Beauty, while it's not priced at a Nordstrom counter, it's still not the most affordable. I I got mine in the shade Major. This is a sculpting powder, so it's not claiming to be a bronzer, it's claiming to be a sculpting powder. A sculpting powder is gonna sculpt out your face, chisel out your cheekbones, do all that little stuff. So I'm not looking at this for a bronzer, I'm looking for at this to sculpt me. So that's what we're gonna do. This is good. It does have some warmth to it, so it's not like gray and like shadow on, on your face, which is ultimately what you want your sculpting powder to do, but still it's not like a, like a deathly amount, like you're not gonna look like a corpse. We also got a blush. We got a blush. This was also reduced to $7.99. Good Lord, how much were you originally then? Also, packaging is mad cute. I really like the soft matte packaging. This is what the blush looks like. The blush looks a little too light for me. We're still gonna test it out regardless just to see, however. It's very on the peachy side. We love a pale peach. Actually, you know what? This isn't peachy. 
This is more apricots, but like apricots that don't want to be apricots just yet. I don't know. It's not ready to be an apricot yet. Right now, it's just a sweet tangy ball. I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. I would usually pack on more blush, but I literally like layered this on to get it just to this. And you know what? I am truly not mad at it. The one thing I will do is I am gonna kind of warm up the face a little bit and add on some highlight. We have eyeshadow. This is a cool mirror. So we have these eyeshadows from Colab. Palette Pro eyeshadow palettes, and I got mine in the shade Best of the Day, I believe. This is something that Tati would not shut her cute little mouth up about. I say that in the most loving way, because I truly do love Tati with all of my heart and all of my skin. Don't run and tell her that though, that's creepy. This is what it looks like. This is super pretty. I'm, I know it's so neutral. I know it's not really saying much or standing out or, or, or really doing the most but you know what neither am I so deal with it you're here for me anyway so we're gonna go with this one first we're just gonna test this out I'm not really trying to go for a look I never am these days I'm just reviewing the product to review the product that's a good transition shade Okay, so these mattes are astounding. Wow, the titties, they're blending out like that. And when you blend them out, you're not losing the pigment so much. Also, there's not a lot of kickback with these, which is a little weird, but I'm for it, I'm with it, I stand it. Good job. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a shim just to kind of see. Oh, this is a little chunky, but very pigmented. I'm feeling it, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try this pink out. You guys, we are doing so good right now, it's crazy. All the mattes are blending out beautifully. Again, I was expecting them to work because I know Tati's not a liar, but I wasn't expecting them to work this well. I will say, I am really glad they work though because even though they are Sally's Beauty and Sally's Beauty is technically a little bit more on the affordable side, this was still rather expensive. I think this was like maybe 16 bucks, something like that. Not the most expensive, but still not on the most affordable side of things, so still. Very very stoked it worked. Like I said, there's not a lot of fallout, which is something that I'm pretty excited about this, guys. Because I've been getting into this like motion of doing my complexion makeup first and then going in with the eyes. And sometimes that's good. And other times that's just real bad news bears. I just end up looking like a stupid little silly billy because I got all this fallout on my face. But with this, I don't think I'd really ever have to have a problem with that or an issue with that at all. So good stuff, guys. I just placed this shimmer in my inner corners and let me tell you guys, the titties. Okay, now we're down to the last of it. I am so excited to try this mascara because again, if there's one thing Tati wouldn't shut up her tetas about, it's this flippin' mascara and she still keeps bragging about it. It's a really good mascara, it's the best mascara, blah, blah, blah. And I trust her, so obviously I'm gonna try it. But this is the Bomb Explosive Mascara. This is the one in the purple tube. There's a pink one and there's a blue one. I think I got the wrong one, if I'm being being completely honest with you guys. We're gonna test it out regardless. All right, so I got mine in the shade black brown. Not what I was aiming for. We're not gonna let that stop us. Soft matte, clean, black. We like that. Okay. Okay, Tatiana, Alexandra, okay. Yeah, I looked her up, you know, like a stalker. Oh wow, I am so shocked by this mascara right now. I wish I got the black one, but still, this is still really dark. And look how much it opened my eyes. Okay, don't look at these lashes right now. Don't, okay? Judge me by these ones, because I feel like I still got maybe a little lash glue stuck in this. I filmed earlier, it was a thing. Look at over here though, if you observe over here, really awesome. The price tag is a little hefty for a mascara, I'm not gonna lie, but it's good, it works, so I cannot be mad at this. Now we're gonna go ahead and set all of this with the same spray we used earlier. Eyeshadows, 
winner winner chicken dinner i really like these so happy i like these because looking at the price tag i am so happy i like these the matte ones blended out very well the shimmers are super pretty i'm still going to be wearing this and be testing this out but i wasn't expecting them to be this good the mascara however probably the most shocking thing out of everything it makes them look like almost falsies like i feel like i'm wearing falsies on this eye this one not so much because like i said there's still some glue up in these little slurs it was a situation and that's on me and that's mb 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 the sculpting powder super good the blushes and eh. the lip products can come to the barbecue if they want I can't even find the other one. I think the setting spray is going to be very promising. The way it feels, sometimes you can get a whiff of like if you're going to like a setting spray. And I feel like I'm going to really like this. So this, I like. All in all, I'll give this first impressions of like one brand of like a solid like seven and a half, eight out of ten. I'm with it. I stand it. And that's that. I got to go pee again like a human. <laughs>